Hey, I'm Brian Vance, SportBikeTrackHere.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Scorpion EXO T520 full-face helmet. As of the time we're shooting this video, the Scorpion T520 retails from 199 to 219 solids to graphics. Please understand we never update videos for pricing changes only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. Let's talk about a couple important stats for this helmet. This helmet is both DOT and ECE certified. It offers three shell sizes, extra small through medium, large as a shell, and then extra large through 3XL. It weighs 3.6 pounds in a size medium, this medium right here, on our digital shipping scale. Interior head shape. I would rate this one to be intermediate oval, which is the most common shape here in North America. This should fit most riders well. Sizing. I measure 58 centimeters on the money. I wear a medium across the board for helmets that run true to size. I wore this medium at my desk for a few hours and I have to tell you once again Scorpion hit the mark. This thing fits and feels excellent, runs true to size. If you've used Scorpion product in the past go ahead and order the same size that you've had previously and you're going to get a fit that is going to be very similar to what you had previously. All right now let's talk about what riding style this helmet is best suited for as well as breaking down the features and benefits of the new T520. This helmet offers a drop down inner shield. Anytime I see a helmet like that, I immediately go to street riding. There's some reasons for that. We've broken that down in another video, but if you're a street rider, having the convenience of that drop down tinted inner screen can be a game changer. It's right there at your fingertips as the lighting conditions change. All you have to do is slide it into position or roll it up out of the way and you are good to go. That's great for the street and just not necessary on the racetrack. For track riding, we've talked about this a lot deeper. It just increases the thickness a little bit here at the brow so it can be a little more cut off. Vision can be a little more cut off in the tuck position, right? And also looking through two screens when you're that focused on the track is not always, in my opinion, the best experience. So this is more of a good quality street going helmet. Features and benefits. Let's start off with the shield first. This is their Everclear fog free treated shield. Scorpion is famous for having what is arguably the best fog free treatment on the market. They've included that on this shield. It's also got a centrally located locking system which is nice as it helps with ease of use. It's very easy to get it open and closed. It keeps it closed while riding and also having the lock dead in the center typically helps the helmet shield seal up better. This is the same shield they're using on the ST1400 and the EXO R1 Air at this time. Ventilation. This helmet uses a two-stage chin vent. Open it to the first position, you are going to be venting up onto the screen. That is very beneficial from a terms of ventilation, of course, to keep the rider cool, and also if you're in a situation where fog is more possible, right? It helps to demist the shield and move some of that moisture out of the shield area to make sure that the fog-free treatment is in the best possible position to help prevent fog from forming on the shield. Stage two opens vents that will flow air directly into the chin bar area of this helmet right into your face. We'll show you a closer look of those as we get a little deeper into this video. Ventilation up here at the top of the helmet. We have off, half, and full open. The EPS is all channeled out. We'll show you that also once we get the interior out to really help enhance ventilation. Exhaust venting is managed through this diffuser on the back of the helmet. One quick note I want to give you. If your number one feature is ventilation, okay, and this is a helmet I've not yet ridden in, but it's very similar to a lot of other models that I have, especially in the Scorpion line, if ventilation is your number one feature, my experience over the years has been if you get a traditional full face helmet that is minus the drop down inner screen, 
You typically enjoy a little bit better ventilation experience, especially if it's a model that has some vents that are a little closer to the brow here. With that said, the venting you're going to enjoy here is going to be more than enough to keep most riders calm, cool, and collected when they're out riding. Airfit cheek pads. There's a little diaphragm right here. You push on that bulb, it inflates the cheek pads on both sides and allows the rider to tune the fit of the helmet to best suit their head shape. It increases stability. It can also help reduce wind noise in that area. If it's a little bit loose, there is a release button just to the left that allows you to evacuate that. So if you want to pump it up while you're riding and release it when you're ready to take the helmet off to make it easier to get the helmet off, you'll be able to do that. The helmet includes a chin curtain. This keeps the wind calm in that area to reduce rider noise. Emergency release cheek pads. If you have a crash situation and emergency personnel needs to remove the helmet without disturbing your neck, you're able to pull on these little loops, rips the cheek pads right out. Reflectives here. This helmet is also XO Com ready. This is a brand new feature for Scorpion for 2022. They have developed with Uclear, which is existing technology, it's an existing brand, good stuff, a Bluetooth system that installs in this helmet. You remove this little plate here. There's a plate here that you will remove. This houses the body of the unit. And then, of course, there are pockets for the speakers built into the EPS of the helmet. This will result in a really clean install. Once that product is available, we will also have install videos for you on that so you can have a really good idea of exactly how that looks after it's installed. It's also important to note that in matte black only, Scorpion has an Exocom installed version of the T520. So if you know you want the unit and you'd rather not mess around with it yourself, you can get it in a factory installed version, right? Obviously it costs more because you have the cost of the unit itself baked into the helmet, but that is available as an option in the matte black colorway only. Our liner is fully removable and replaceable. The quality of the Scorpion liners over the years has proven to be one of the best in the industry. And when it comes to price point helmets, I would say the overall quality of the helmet from Scorpion is really second to none. These guys lead the way in terms of price point helmet quality and performance. Okay, glasses compatibility. Scorpion builds this as compatible with glasses, and it is. You know, we're going to show you, Lucas is going to blend in a clip here where I'm sliding a, the pair of sunglasses that we've used to compare all the glasses compatibility helmets over the last couple of years. Getting the glasses in, not so amazing. I will say though, once the glasses are in there, they end up in the perfect spot and they feel great. Hopefully that helps you decide if this is right for you or not. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's take it apart and give you a closer look from the inside out. Let's start off with a, a shield swap. You need to bring the shield all the way in the upward most position. There's a little trigger right here. You're going to push up on that and then pull out on the shield while holding the trigger in that position. We'll repeat that on the other side. You can see, really simple. To reinstall the shield, you want to get it in that upward most position like so and then there is a little tab right here on the shield. What I like to do is I like to line that up with the slot it's going to ride in and then push downward, dips right in. Repeat that process here on the other side. Anytime you do a shield swap, you want to make sure you raise it up and lower it, put it in the lock position a couple of times to ensure that it is in fact correctly installed before you go out and go for a ride. Let's go ahead and pop that back off. To remove the chin curtain, you want to grab it over here by the edge and just pull outward and then roll it all the way around. You can see that there are a couple little Velcro tabs on both sides to help hold this very securely in position. I don't believe that's something that's going to come out while you're riding. There is your AirFit cheek pad inflation system. There's your release right here. And I'm not sure if you can see this or not, Lucas. Can you see right here the chin vents? Those are the areas where the air will flow into the helmet we spoke about earlier. To remove the cheek pads, you're going to want to go ahead and slide your fingers in between the EPS and the backing for the cheek pad. 
you'll feel a snap as you slide your fingers in between the two layers. It's going to disengage the snap, allowing you to roll the cheek pad out like so. Go ahead and pull your double D-ring strap from the hole in the cheek pad. Grab the cheek pad here at the very front. Pull and kind of roll just like that. Let's focus for a second on just the overall quality of the interior itself. Scorpion is always, ever since we started off in their products when they first hit the market, they've always just done such an amazing job with the quality at the given price point. You really are getting a lot of value with these helmets. These are products that, that I've used personally many, many times, both on the track, on the street, as well as snowmobiling. To remove the top pad, slide your thumb in between the EPS and the backing for the top pad. There are two snaps, one on either side. Go ahead and release those. To pull the top pad out of the helmet, you're going to want to get your fingers underneath the padding itself and really close to the tab that's up here in the front. This is probably super hard to show on camera. And then just kind of pull up and out. That'll pop right out of there for you. Here is your top liner. Once again, just like the cheek pads, the quality of this looks excellent. Let's take a look inside the helmet. Look at all the channeling here in the EPS. And you know what they're doing here is, is they're trying to help even though you know you've got the vents located a little higher than you normally would due to having the drop down inner screen in there they have all this channeling in the EPS to allow air to still flow up into the brow area here from front to back you can see the holes that go through the shell through the EPS into the helmet to allow for airflow got your exhaust vents here in the back see if we can get the speaker pocket can you get that right here there's your speaker pocket here is the bladder for the air fit system for the cheek pad all in all what do I think I think the T520 is another excellent helmet from Scorpion if you watched our channel over the years been to our site you know we're big fans of Scorpion they've earned that that support from our company for sure We've used their products over the years multiple times personally. We've sold a lot of their stuff. There are a lot of happy Scorpion riders out there. Looking at this T520, I haven't ridden in it, and this isn't really a helmet that's necessarily on my roadmap to, to ride in, but I've ridden in a lot of stuff from Scorpion that's similar to this. My expectations are the performance of this helmet are also going to be excellent. A lot of users will help share their feedback after purchases have been made, but this is a helmet. If you're looking in this $200 price point, these are the features and bennies that you're looking for. I think this should be a top pick.